Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite Men and Neil Tarot. Thanks very much for joining our channel today. It really is appreciated. Just want to say thank you to everybody who has liked, shared and subscribed to the channel. I thank you so much for your support and your comments and um, bringing me up to date with, um, you know, how the readings are going. Um, and I also want to thank everybody that has taken advantage of the five questions for $50 and Thank you for so much for your feedback and letting me know that I have been on, on the right track when it comes to um, what is going on in your lives. And if anybody um, um, still wants to take advantage of that five questions for $50, shoot us through an email and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. All right. All right, so I'm going to go this way. <laughs> there are problems in the relationship. The situation will be handled wisely. Yeah, I get that. I do get that. You are tormenting yourself with the thought of loving the wrong person. A trusted friend will offer a solution. Peace person who brings order. Woman's success depends on an effort and hard work. All right. Your tears of sorrow are turned into tears of happiness. Somebody mature, sceptical, that plays a regular life, okay, pays attention to every detail, but has at times been unwelcome to marriage, okay. And your next card is the ring. You may get engaged or, or have a surprise marriage with the person you love in the near future, happiness and peace, okay. And it says here, the person you love is in a relationship with someone else. And that's why you're suffering. A woman who thinks two or three times before um, doing anything. Yeah. You know, honestly, when I was shuffling the cards and I didn't want to say it because I'm just wondering why my spirit guides are throwing so many songs my way. But I, I did have the tune of Abba's Mamma Mia. But I want you to slow it down and I want you to listen to the lyrics because Mamma Mia is actually um, a twin flame journey. It's a song about twin flames because when you look at the lyrics, I mean, she can't count all the times that they thought they were through and then he leaves, he slams the door, but she knows he's going to come back. So I feel like this is the energy here where... Yes, you might be in love with somebody who's connected to somebody else, okay? And it may be throwing your emotions in and out to, do I want to continue? Do I not want to continue? Do I let this person back in? Do I not let this pers person back in? But the way the cards were going is almost like, and I don't know why I decided to start this way instead of that way, which I normally do. But the way the cards are going is that, you're at a point where you're thinking I'm wasting my time and this is all too much for me now. And you know that a situation is like, is it going to come to an end again? You know, but look what you got. So somebody is thinking of you and thinking about coming in your direction. So you may get engaged or have a surprise marriage, but the person that you love is in, a, in another relationship right now. So... Is that relationship going to come to an end? We will find out. We will find out. I don't know which way I want to go. All right. All right, Spirit. Show me what Scorpio needs to know. Tell me what Scorpio needs to know about this connection. Now, I just want to say with those people that have had their um, five questions uh, for $50, Tarot tells you what you need to know, not what you want to know, okay? Um, sometimes what you want to know will come out, and um, but what you need to know will definitely come out, okay? So, you, ha you have the Ten of Pentacles. Something is coming your way, okay? Something is about to reveal itself. You are going to eventually get what you want, okay? Ten of Pentacles is... You know, the home life, the happy life, the the financial blessings, the person that you love. But the person that you love um, is, is a bit wounded right now. When they do come in, they will be wounded. So there must be an ending or a conclusion of something when they come back to you. Okay. 
but this person is trying to gain their strength and courage and they do want to have something with you but they're coming in as the wounded warrior when they do come in so you're going to have to be patient because somebody is walking away somebody is walking away but they're going towards something better somebody doesn't want to fight anymore okay they're done with the cycle they're done with um being tested constantly okay this could be you this could be the other person having this uncertainty and you know looking at the outlook thinking sometimes uh, the victory is not worth worth the prize but this time i feel like it's going to be i feel like for some of you it's going to be you know worth the prize okay um i do feel that somebody wants to come in and give you equal give and take where for a while you thought there wasn't any equal give and take so um you know there could be two that somebody doesn't want to give any more to another connection all right this person has been spying on you there may be distance between you and this person or you know you're just watching and taking your time to think before you act or maybe that's this this person taking their time to think before they act got a card that's turned over here yeah something's coming in fast somebody is prepared to take action Okay, life is going to move forward. Where if you were feeling stuck, it is going to be moving forward. All right. Yeah. Mm, a head over heart decision is going to be made. Okay. This person was holding on too tight to something and was unable to move forward. But with the Eight of Cups, they're definitely turning their back on something and going in a different direction. Okay. Nobody nobody wants to put in the hard work and effort anymore okay too many challenges they were facing and somebody is is not wanting to argue anymore somebody's going towards their ten of cups okay so we have the king of swords ace of pentacles somebody is coming in to speak their truth to you scorpio so um, you know, with the Ace of Pentacles, they are offering you a new beginning. They're offering you an apology. They're also bringing you a gift, okay? Um, they may have, like, distance. There may have been distance between you and this person for a while. And, um, yeah, now somebody's willing to put in the hard work and effort with you, Scorpio, and they do want to make this a successful outcome, okay? All right, so... I feel like for a while you may have thought that this person had, you know, may have options. And even though I, I don't see any concrete proof here about this person having options, I do feel that there was another person, like a third per party, okay? Um, but somebody's building their strength and courage to come in and talk to you, Scorpio, okay? I think they're worried that the, the time apart... Um, may have put you in a different direction but they're offering you home stability finances they're offering that to you okay they may have been stuck in this other connection because of home stability and finances okay um there was a reason why they couldn't get out of it a reason why they were always at a crossroad a reason why they kept things hidden from you okay I think they kept it hidden from you, not because that they were hiding a secret, but more that they were needing to make their own decision about this and not being influenced by anybody. Okay. All right. So. Someone's about to release a heavy burden. Making judgment. Like it's confirming. We've got the King of Wands here ready to take action. Okay. Ready to be a leader of their own life. Okay. Somebody who's been, you know, always sort of taking a step back and, and taking their time and hoping that the universe would guide them. All right. But you've got a wish fulfillment coming in. All your dreams are about to come true. Well, it's nice that the card says that, but we never really, never really happens, does it? 
Yeah, so whoever this person is that was mentally tied and trapped and in the self-imposed prison that they put themselves in, you know, they made you feel blocked. They made you feel a little bit gaslighted. They made you feel like that um, they had flighty energy. They made you feel like that, um, you know, oh, Scorpio will always be there waiting for me, you know. That's not true. Scorpio doesn't wait for no one, okay? Scorpio is always in an empress energy and always, you know, prepared to take a leap of faith in any direction as soon as they put their mindset to it, okay? So I do feel that um, whoever they're dealing with, there's been a lot of arguments, a lot of conflict, okay? Um, I do feel that... I'm just going to pull out three more cards and then go with this storyline here, okay? Mm. All right. So somebody's been in this toxic energy with some, you know, a, a person that they're connected to. So uh, what I'm feeling here that whoever this person is that's been mentally tied and trapped to, to something that they couldn't get out of, um... There is a big change that is coming in with the tower moment. You know, this is a big change. This is the universe stepping in now because the universe has been watching something going around in circles, okay? Things need to move on. The journey needs to continue, okay? Things can't, cannot be delayed anymore. There's been a huge delay in this, okay? Um, all right, I'm going to reverse it for for some of you people for some of you people that have been in this long distance relationship where you can't touch somebody, you can't feel somebody, you know, that's all talk and no action. This person is keeping you in a mental self-imposed prison, wants to keep you there because you boost their ego, stroke their ego, whatever you do. There might be an age difference between you and this person, but this person is definitely in a connection that is, that is toxic. And I have no doubt that the connection is toxic. But they, they won't leave that connection. They're trapped in that connection because of home, stability, finances, children, whatever they're connected to, they will not leave it, okay? So they're keeping you mentally tied and trapped in a situation where you can't touch anyone, you can't feel anything, you can't, you know, spoken words that mean nothing at the end of the day. This person is not going to take action. So you will turn your back on this situation because... This situation can keep you mentally tied and trapped for the next 8 to 10 years, okay? So somebody is going to take a leap of faith. This is not going to continue into the new year if you don't see any action coming your way, all right? That's for some of you. And for others that are not in a long-distance relationship, somebody is ready to take action. It's all, It's almost like they're waiting. They're waiting on something to um to change within their life and then they will make it a decision and the decision will be to heal a situation with you and come towards where they feel happy and secure okay and then the tower moment will come in scorpio and this is when the change is going to come about it's not that there's going to be a conflict between you and this person because they're coming out of this toxic behavior Okay, and they're going to move forward. And when they move forward, it is going to go towards a victory because somebody is finally seeing the truth. Okay, I feel like this person hesitated because they didn't want to hurt anybody. But the connection is with you, Scorpio. Okay, the plan is to come towards you. And this, this cycle is going to be over. Whoever they're connected to in home, stability and finances. And they know they know that it's causing them sleepless nights. They know that it's difficult and they know that they've taken a long time to give you what you want, okay? But this person, when they make a decision, it will be one more year because of this court. It'll be one more year and then you can go in the direction that both of you want to go and come out of feeling left out in the cold, okay? For some of you, they will take you, they will travel, and they will just go somewhere to have this passionate new beginning with you and give you that beautiful commitment that you've always wanted because the lovers is here. So somebody is going into an emperor energy, okay? And they're going to take charge, but you and this person have so many memories together, 
okay they don't stop thinking about you and they want to give you this offer but unfortunately they are going to go through some sort of grief and loss okay before they can reach out and give you this and move forward okay so some of you scorpios if you are waiting on this person and please only take what resonates and leave the rest okay because it's not for everybody but this is going to be one more year before this person is able to give you um, what you want. But in the meantime, they are going through an awakening. They are starting to realize that they don't want to lose you. Okay. I feel like somehow there has been some sort of distance emotionally. You know, there's been some sort of distance between you because things are getting in the way. But between now and the end of the year, there is a lot of um, separation between you and this person. Um, but once the year is over, once they go through the grief and loss, once they release the heavy burden and come out of this mental self-imposed prison, they want to do nothing but move forward with you. And and for, for some of you, you kind of felt like this person was dealing with other people all the time, making other people feel important, making you feel not important, you know? That's why when you go listen to the lyrics of Mamma Mia, just slow it down. Don't go with the beat, okay? Let's slow it down. And, you know, where she says, I've been cheated by you since I don't know when. You know? Um, so I've made up my mind that this must come to an end. So this is where you're at, Scorpio, where you're feeling like you may need to end something, you know, and you're... You're conflicted. Do I end it? Do I not end it? But every time you and this person end, you always come back together. And that's what the song Mamma Mia is all about. That, you know, no matter how many times they ended, they came back together. Okay. But Scorpio, I don't know who this is for, but, you know, it's it's been a hard twin flame journey. Very hard. But it, that journey is going to come to an end. Okay. And it is going to be able to move forward. Um, and I've got the numbers 2 and 5 here, which is 2025. I'm going to look at it that way as 2025. So that would be, and we have 8 and 8, okay? So um, it is an, an infinity. It is meant to be, even though it doesn't seem that way. And, it, it, you know, there's a lot of anger and there's a lot of tor tormenting going on. But get out of your head. Get out of your head, enjoy life, and just keep going. And what is meant to be will be. Nothing will ever pass you, Scorpio. So you don't sit at home. You don't wait for this person to make a decision. Probably the decision will come quicker when they know and see that you are moving on. Okay? All right, Scorpio, I wish you all the best. And for those of you that um, do want to have a reading, the special is still going. Five questions for $5. Please don't send me health issues i'm not a doctor and i'm not god okay so um try and keep your questions you know to a reasonable question that can be answered and um hope to hear from you soon scorpio all right we'll see you next time bye for now